all right so now let's start with the other collection which is for the users now just a side note based upon the condition that we have added right over here if we try visiting a, a shortened link where the short code is more or less than six then we will be seeing the loader constantly and if we open the the console we are going to see an error right over here which says that firebase error missing or insufficient permission so it's just that we are not handling the we are not doing the error catching and we will be doing that once we get back to the application for the time being let's just stick with the security rules so one second so now let's write in let's have another match clause and the path that we want to uh, take care of is the the links sub collection which is within the users so within the user we have the user document where we are using the id which is the user uid and within this we have the link sub collection so let's get the same thing let's add in slash and the users collection within which we will again be using a wildcard to match this segment of the path and we can name it as user uid then within this we need to tap inside the sub collection of links and then we have all the links as such link singular so now we just need to add in the the respective conditions so let's start with the get one which is the well not the get the read the read one as we want to allow both the get and the list to the owner the one the user itself like the user themselves so for this let's first specify the condition for the read method the read operation so we will be doing the if check as such now we only want to allow the user themselves the user the logged in user whose uid matches to this one this thing so for that we will again well actually it's the first time we did refer it over here we will be using the request variable which contains information about the request within which we have the auth so the auth variable contains information about the authenticated user who is making the request well before we even do this thing we need to check whether or not the user is authenticated we we do need to know like if they are authenticated and for that we will be checking it as such if this thing is not equals to null which means that the user is authenticated the next thing that we need to check is by adding in double ampersand in order to chain up different conditions we will be checking that if the logged in user or the authenticated users uid matches to this thing so for that again request dot auth dot uid as such and we only want to allow if this thing equals to the user uid that we have over here so if this is the case only then we are allowing the read operation and let's actually test this out as well within the well we have to provide the path one two three which in this case is going to be the user uid then the links sub collection and then any link as such so firstly let's try this request so as we know that the read comprised of is comprised of get and read sorry the read is comprised of get and list so this thing will is under the read one and if we try this request while we are unauthenticated this thing should fail or to say it should be denied as you can see and the the rules playground it's so good that it even allows you to see detailed information like you can actually check where exactly things went wrong so over here as you can see that this thing if i hover on it this thing is resulting in false so we do know where exactly like when exactly the the condition failed or something like that so let's try it while we are authenticated and if we do the same thing it's again going to fail it's again going to be denied because the uid has to match to the user uid the document id so for that we can 
pass in certain fields to the request and over here we have the firebase uid so this thing has to be the same as the document id which is inside the users collection so as we are hard coding it to be one two three like for me i will be passing in the same thing over here and now if i try this request it should work as you can see so that's perfect that's exactly what we want so that's one thing of the list and the other thing is as this check these two checks these are something which will be common in different operations like for the delete one we again want to check these two things the user is authenticated and it's the owner we do need to make sure that is the case so instead of copying this thing over and over again what we can do is we can create a custom function which will be a bit more descriptive so right over here we can create a function and we can name it whatever we want the, syn the syntax of it is similar to javascript so we will be naming it as well make sure to create the function within this block so that we can refer to the user uid right over here or else you can create it outside and then you will have to pass down the user uid within the argument now that being said let's create the function as is is owner as such and we will be returning this check that we have over here so let's just copy the same thing let me just zoom in it might be hard for you to get it should have done it before sorry so if i just return the same thing we just need to call this function as such and this will work the same way if i kind of run this thing now the benefit is that the next time we need to check these two things we just need to call this function and we can just chain further conditions in the same way so that's perfect and now yep that's it for the read one let's work on the well actually there are couple different well we can do the same thing for the delete one because that's what it is we need to check whether they are authenticated and the the user who is authenticated only they themselves can delete documents within this collection so for the delete one it's again going to be exactly the same if is owner as such in such a way then we need to add in another checks few the checks which would be let's start with the create one first so actually i may have to break the video it's again making noise 